Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And yesterday we talked about the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ and about his death on the cross. So I thought, why don't we continue along the vein and talk about the end result, right? Death is not the end for Jesus Christ. And as a matter of fact, death isn't the end for us either. It's the beginning of of eternal life. Uh, so we're in uh, Luke's Gospel, verse, chapter 23, beginning at verse 50. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and a just, and the same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He was of Arimathea, the city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus, and he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in the sepulcher that was hewn in the stone wherein never man was laid. And that day was the preparation and the Sabbath drew on. And the women also which were came with him from Galilee followed after and beheld the sepulcher and how his body was laid. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulcher and told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women that were with them which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran to the sepulcher, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. So here, of course, we get the resurrection story. We had the passion story about the death of Jesus paid for us on the cross. And we talked yesterday about the thieves and forgiveness and being with Jesus in paradise. Now, of course, they, we have the death of Jesus, Joseph of Arimathea, uh, giving his own tomb for the burial. Uh, and then, of course, the story on the third day of the resurrection of Jesus. Now, they've not seen him yet uh, up to this point in the gospel, uh, but the women have gone to do uh, their responsibility of a proper anointing of the body. They couldn't do a proper anointing of the body uh, on the Sabbath day, especially a high Sabbath day of the Passover. And so they, of course, uh, just hastily did it, rolled the stone over, and uh, we're going to come back and do that. Now they've come back and Jesus is gone. He's missing. And not only that, but they see these two men in glistening apparel, obviously a reference to the angels. Uh, and having seen the angels, they run back and tell the others. And Peter goes and in fact sees that the tomb is empty. Of course, we'll have to come back to this uh, to hear about the actual appearance of Jesus Christ. But of course, as he's promised, he is risen. And this is the message of the church. This is the message of Easter. It's the message of every Sunday. It's why we celebrate and gather together on Sundays because it's the resurrection day. Uh, and we every Sunday is a celebration of the resurrection. But Jesus Christ has conquered death and is risen, right? Love cannot be killed. And death cannot destroy love. And Jesus Christ, as the second person of the Trinity, is love. So uh, obviously, it's obvious that he is going to rise from the dead, as he promised. But we'll get to that tomorrow. Uh, so today is Thursday, 9 a.m. Holy Communion today. Uh, and then, of course, I hope that you could join us in person or on the live stream to celebrate the good news of God in Jesus Christ. And may your Thursday be full of blessings.